Welcome to the final part of this tutorial series. In this uh, episode we'll be preparing the player to upload online so people can download and start using it. Um, this is a four stage process. Um, it's all very quick um, but it's important to get it done this way so no one has any problems when they start using the face that you're going to create. So step one is the simplest step. Um, what we need to do is create a backup of the um, players folder. So we've still got all of the uh, Photoshop files and any backups of uh, old files, um, just in case that we need to go back to it and make any edits. So to do that, simply copy and paste. Um, simply copy and paste the player folder. So this becomes our backup. We can rename that if you like. To uh, back up, and that's stage one. Now, stage two is to uh, clean out any files that aren't used from the um, player folder that we're going to upload. So, if we go into the folder, and we'll change the view to details, which will give us a better idea of what we need and what we don't. Um, so, obviously, we don't need any of these copies. Um, so anything that's a copy of anything we can remove. Um, so we'll delete those. Um, we also don't need these files because they're already dealt with. They have been put into face.dds there. Um, so we can delete those. And I think that should be everything. So let's just go through iOclusion edit hair files, face high, normal detail, specular roughness. Yep, that seems to be everything that we actually need. Um, so that's uh, stage two. Stage three is to create a config.txt file to tell the game um, what colour the rest of um, the player's skin should be apart from his face, which obviously you've defined in face.dds. Um, I'm going to pop up a graphic now just to show the various uh, colours that you can configure within this utility. Um, the basic um, syntax of the text file is as follows, so I'm just going to copy this as a blank one that I've um, already got, so I'm just going to copy the config.txt file. So it needs to be named config.txt, um, if you open that file then it's simply got a very simple bit of code in there which defines the body skin colour. And these numbers can range between 1 and 6. And they look like this. So as you can see from that image, um, probably the best colour to choose would be um, number 4. Um, it seems to match the best with the face that we've created. So I'm going to type in 4 in here and save that. And that's the config.txt created. Um, I'm just going to drop into game quickly now and just show you what that looks like with a quick spin around the model. And the final stage in this process is to um, create a readme.txt file. Um, so if we create a new text document and just name that readme.txt. Um, this is basically the file that um, is going to have any information that you want to tell um, the downloader about your model. So you know if you wanted to you could include you know the credit um, to let people know that whose it is. I don't bother with that. So um, but the most important thing to put in here um, and it's very very essential is the face ID. Now the, the face ID you'll, you'll already know because you'll have it in there from testing. Um, so I'm going to take that uh, and copy this and then just paste that into our readme.txt and then save that. Just check that saved in the right place. So we now have that. So this people can obviously use to add to their 
GDB map file um, which will tell the game where to find the face and once the game knows where to find the face the game will automatically use the config.txt to set the skin colour and everything should be perfect. So the very last thing to do is to pop the um, player folder into a zip file um, upload it to your choice of uh, download service, whether that's Mediafire or Mega or Zippy Share or whatever, and share your link online, and that's everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. Um, feel free to um, post a comment if you've got any questions, or if you just want to say thanks, or you know if you've got any comments that are negative, you know whether I didn't cover everything that you wanted me to or whatever, just let me know, and uh, you know maybe I'll post um, parts in future to try and improve. Cheers guys, bye.